Hello wonderful person, welcome to What The Math. This is Anton and today we're taking a look at this awesome educational game that was suggested by one of you. I believe this was a person by the name Davey Lima Martins uh, who suggested this on Facebook and it's actually absolutely awesome. I'm really really shocked I had no idea this existed and I'm so happy that uh, Davey actually suggested it because it is totally amazing if you want to learn something about biology, if you want to learn about how plants are produced, and if you want to actually just play a fun game that's educational. So it's actually called Extinct. Are you smarter than a plant? Uh, right away, just going to answer no, because I'm not smarter than the plant. I've lost this game many times. You have a choice between playing as a wild plant and a farmed plant. I think this is actually more difficult, so I'm going to show you what this is like, but you can try this by yourself. Uh, the link for this game is in, in the description below. Anyway, so wild plant, uh, you need to eject as many seeds as possible before September. This will ensure the best chance that your genes will be passed on to the next generation. Don't let the other plants shade you from the sun. Now, the game is actually very realistic. It's kind of, uh, well, not just educational, but it's actually kind of fun at being educational because it gives you um, a relatively fun gameplay, but it also teaches you quite a lot about how plants reproduce, how plants grow, what they need to grow, and also what dangers there are for them, and what factors influence their growth. We're going to play through this for a few minutes just so you can see what it's like. Click on the crosses, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you need to collect both minerals and... Uh, um, I believe uh, air and water and uh, water you only get when, it, when it's raining sometimes it doesn't actually rain and on top here you have um, both the month the weather and I don't know if you can see it but right here it also says sugars and minerals how many sugars and minerals I have these are my um, I guess resources that I need to basically survive we're gonna click on this to grow a new leaf and we're also going to grow on this to grow a new root yay look at that we have a new plant click on finish because this is a turn-based game we're going to click on finish and look at that bees the bees are coming but there are no flowers for them to pollinate bees are one of the more important factors for plants to reproduce uh they need to be pollinated and look at that there's a little beetle and oh no the beetle died that's not good or is it now we can actually use the beetle to uh, basically eat it and get some uh, materials from it. We're going to click on this button that says absorb nutrients. And now we're going to absorb minerals and water. Water absorbed 12, minerals absorbed 15. This depends on things like sunshine and rain. And we're now going to create sugar for our plant using the this reaction right here. This is photosynthesis that basically is very, very simply done by dragging this to the right. Haha. -ha. Look at that. Now we have one leaf to open. Uh, so, all right. A smart plant tip. Grow your roots to the dead beetles to get extra minerals. Aha, uh -huh, we're going to do that. And also we're going to grow one flower. New flower grown. And do I have any more left? No, that's it. That's all I have. We can now skip a turn. Our plant has grown just a little bit. We have one flower. We have one leaf. And look at that. There's like these other grasses coming up. And the thing is, if they actually cover you, if they go taller than you, you will no longer be able to basically produce much because your plant will be covered from, from the sun. You'll receive a lot less light and you won't really get as much, but you can still grow roots and stuff and you can still basically get things done, but you won't be able to produce as many seeds because seeds require flowers. Flowers require sun. Uh, all right, finish growing this month. Look at that. The bee is coming and boom, it produced uh, a seed. I mean, it doesn't actually happen that way. It doesn't really turn to, into a seed right away, but it's realistic enough. We now have two beetles that we can eat and we're going to get to them in a second. Let's produce a little bit more sugar for the synthesis and the grasses got a little bit higher, so we have to deal, deal with them. We have to actually grow our stem a little bit. We're going to try to outgrow them. Uh, okay, we can eject a seed, boom, and we can now bring a new flower here, but we don't have enough energy, I think, but we can also go to the beetles. Are we there yet? Hey, there we go. This beetle is going to be eaten, and this beetle we're going to get to in a second. All right, excellent. Finished growing. We can now actually absorb quite a lot of minerals. Uh, bees flew past us because there's nothing to eat. Uh, there's nothing to pollinate, that is. But they do eat stuff from us. So pollination is essentially when the bees come, they get a little bit of resources from our flower, but they also take the uh, spores from our flowers and bring them to the flowers of other plants. And at the same time, they bring spores from uh, from other plants to us. And this way we get pollinated. And this, this way we basically procreate and uh, mix our genetic material with other plants which is absolutely important for evolution. Uh, all right, so let's make some more sugar. 
uh, the grass is growing a little bit. They're catching up to us. But we can actually now uh, produce a new leaf and also grow our stem. And can I grow the... No, let's actually make another leaf. And let's make two... Oh, we can't make any more flowers. All right, so next turn we're going to make flowers. This turn we're going to ski... Oh, wait a second. We don't have to skip it yet because we can eat that beetle. Yay. All right, so now we're actually getting a lot of minerals. We need to start getting more uh, sunlight. We need more leaves, which will absorb um, sunlight through their uh, chromatic cells that make them green. And they will use chloroform that basically absorbs sunlight and turns it into sugars inside our plant. And this is why we're now getting so much more stuff. Because we have three leaves open, we can actually convert a lot more, um, a lot more sunlight into sugars. All right, so minerals were fine for now. It says, don't grow too many stems, save your resources for roots and leaves. And we're going to follow that advice, but we're also going to make a little bit of um, both stems and leaves. So we're going to make a little bit of leaves. And can I actually make another leaf here? Yes, I can. And can I make another one here? Yes, I can. Yes, excellent, perfect. And another flower, there we go. Three flowers, lots and lots of stuff going on. And now we'll be getting, um, three different seeds that we can um we can release and look at that there's a there's an insect that's going to eat a leaf oh no i'm attacked by insects i've eaten one of your leaves now this is actually another factor that sort of influences how you can fail in this game sometimes there's a lot of these that come and eat a lot of the leaves and uh so many plants they, they've developed uh, various um defense systems how to prevent basically being eaten by beetles and i believe the one of the more successful plants is actually the plant that's responsible for essentially making cigarettes uh the nicotine plant the plant that produces nicotine um essentially is very very successful at um not being eaten by beetles nicotine is an excellent Ooh, i can actually do something with this no i can't never mind for a second there, I can actually... Oh, yes, I can grow it. I didn't even know that. This is actually new to me. I can apparently grow another plant. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say is that nicotine is actually an excellent source or an excellent defense against various insects. And many insects can actually be killed by nicotine. Uh, but then it turns out we can also smoke it. So there's that as well. Uh, anyway, so let's, uh, let's keep going and let's see how bad we do. I want to see if I can actually get a few of these... Uh, going and I think the month is now August. We just have to, I think, survive. What is it? One more month? I think it's we have to. I think it's until September, right? Bees are visiting, and we're gonna get three, three seeds. And I'm attacked by two insects. They're gonna eat two of my leaves. Oh no, just one. Okay. And a rain. And that's it. Now it's still August, actually. One month left. Um. I can now create quite a lot of sugar and eject a lot of my seeds. There we go. Seeds ejected. Okay, this one is stuck. I think it's actually maybe a bug because it's not flying away. Anyway, so I believe it's almost finished for this month and I think the game is almost over. It's a pretty short game, but I think if you're a teacher that wants to use this in class or if you're just a student that wants to play this just to understand how all this works, it's a pretty excellent tool because it doesn't take too long to finish. And it is quite clear at making it this very, very visual. And I think it's actually kind of fun. Well, maybe maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a mega nerd that finds this kind of stuff fun. All right, so i um, going to maybe grow one more root just for fun. And that's it. Finish growing for this month. I've created, uh, it says, it's September and your time is up. You've created seven seeds this year. This gives you 28% chance of passing your genes to the next generation. Rating, endangered species. You may not survive long. All right, so there's rating here. You can try to basically, you know, beat the score. And I'm pretty sure that you can easily beat my score. I, I wasn't really doing that well and I wasn't really playing that uh, competitively. But that's essentially it. Uh, you can also play as a farm plant that gives you slightly different uh, goals and slightly different... Um, I guess uh, gameplay because here you have to try not to outcompete other plants and you actually have to try to be nicer to other plants. It's a little bit easier as well. But all in all, I definitely recommend this game to any biology teacher, anyone who's interested in biology or anyone who wants to learn biology and doesn't really get it. It's a pretty awesome game. It's a game called Extinct. Are you smarter than a plant?
Check it out in the link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Anton with this amazing and pretty cool game. Once again, thank you, Davey, for recommending this. And see you guys in the next video where I'm going to talk about something else educational and possibly science related, possibly math related, or possibly space related. See you later, game leader. And as always, bye bye. And bye bye to you too, bees. I'll see you in the next video.